Hi guys and welcome back to Deponia. I'm sorry it's been so long. I've not had much time to do any recordings lately, but I've suddenly got like like a half a day to do some, so I'm going to be doing uh, hopefully a couple of episodes worth of Deponia and then also another game I've got my eye on doing a short spotlight on uh, later on. So hopefully we can get that out of the way. Anyway, um, what did we do last time? I think we've just picked up the quest to make the amazing coffee for Lonzo. Is that right? I think that's right. Okay. What is this? The cup is still empty. Still being the operative word here. Okay. Uh, we'll pick up the red curtain. It's been so long since I've played this game now that I've actually forgotten. Like, this was going to be a walkthrough, but now I've kind of forgotten what it is I'm supposed to be doing. So we're just going to... We're just gonna go with it, and I'm gonna figure it out as we go. Hopefully I'll still be able to remember parts of what's going on here. That looks pick up yep. Yeah. Um, anything else? No. I've not had any lunch today. I'm absolutely starving. I've had a mince pie. You know, when... You, you, you know, sometimes you need a mince pie. Just to... Huh? Oh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station has opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Cool. Uh, you know, when you, when, you, when you just sat there and you think and you get the craving for a mince pie, that's where I am right now. That's where I am. Oh. Okay, I remember this room now. Basically what we've got to do here is pick up literally everything we possibly can. So you see this dissecting scalpel? We're going to go pick that up. You see this dentist drill? We're gonna pick that up. You see this, uh, this laughing gas? Laughing the clown amongst uh, the anesthetics. <laughs> Clowns. I can't remember how we picked that up, but we're supposed to pick that up. <laughs> and then there's a tree. It's the last tree left. I hope it doesn't croak. I mean, where would I test my herbicides? <laughs> oh my God, the last tree on earth. Oh, you know, Deponium. Let's pull this lever. <laughs> pull my lever. <laughs> Gizmo is in here. Terrible. That means I can fiddle around with his <laughs> occupation modes unnoticed. Cool. Anyway, um, okay, let's. Since take the this. retirement home. Oh huh. no, I don't. Forget. Let's take this. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. Oh, so I can't. Oh, I remember. I can't pick this up, can I? That's not gonna fly. Okay. Right. Now you see here, in the other section, if I put the lever back up again, you'll see that these bars come across this section to stop this, because that's up there when it's in there, from falling out. But on this section, there aren't any bars there, because you have to be able to get... Oh, oh god, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we've got to do here is we've got to take this fire extinguisher. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. Put this in here. Let's pick up some of this stuff while we're here. Da -da 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 -da. And like here, you can see there's a fire escape as well. So. And if we move this up, strike! Ta da! So now I've got the handcuffs. Um, and I'll show you what the handcuffs are for in just a moment. I don't know if we have to use the fire extinguisher for anything. I can't remember having to use it, but because it's so heavy, you'd have to only use it in this room. Anyway, you see here, we want this lockpick. And so to get that, we're going to move this down again. And take something we've just got, which is these handcuffs, and we're going to secure this hatch over here. Um, I can't remember why, that's about as far as I can remember. Okay, 
So let's try and... I think this is what you do? Yes, okay, you see now the fireman's pole is still present. <laughs> um, and so I can go outside and get the lockpick. I honestly don't remember why I'm doing half of this stuff, I just remember that it's something I have to do. Because, like, the target that we're going for here is this. So we've got to find a revitalizing liquid, energy rich water, clear water, extraordinarily, stim extraordinarily stimulating, some black powder, and hot beans. I, the only one I can literally remember how to get is hot beans and so I'm kind of like hoping that I'll remember stuff as I get to it like now I've just remembered what I'm supposed to do here so what you do is we need to get the attention of this bull so we're gonna put it over here ah uh -huh. brilliant idea Rufus what could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of Nat's piss? What? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main <laughs> thing is that it worked. <laughs> what? Okay, and then we're going to put this on top. <clears throat> Aw, does that upset you? Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. Um, and then I think you're supposed to use the dentist straw. <laughs> and today, children, Uncle Rufus will show you how to draw blood from a full-grown bull. And, uh, this is one way how not to do it. Okay, let's forget about that for now. Um, we're gonna now so, so, uh, ba -ba 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 We're going to solve the mystery of this car so this windshield sure puff huh well that could spell anything is very dirty so we've got to go clean it obviously that's obviously what we're supposed to do and to do that we're gonna go to Wenzel's this is house. Wenzel's house he'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure oh, I yet, bet he'll be we? pretty disgruntled because he decided not to come with me he'll start shaking and get crying fits why am I not as cool and daring as you Rufus <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. <laughs> I love how deluded Wenzel. Rufus is. Look at him. He don't hey care. Rufus, back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. <laughs> By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but. Well, that's settled then. Um... Oh, so Wenzel's just taken all of my stuff. That's nice. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who hasn't? This wouldn't have anything to do with you by any chance. <laughs> hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. Oh, uh, yeah. right. There really does seem to be a connection. <laughs> I was present when the woman fell from the sky. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. No, you of didn't. Of course you did. You pushed them, huh? Okay, uh, don't you want to go to the town hall? Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number. But then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah, nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance. But like this... 
You're holding up the line. By the way, you're holding up the line. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk anyway? How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in <laughs> there was this weird stick. <laughs> uh, that's my that's my father's divining rod. That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvax built on with this very rod. Yeah. Well, if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, I haven't the slightest idea. Maybe you can find water with the divining rod. Hey, maybe you can find water with the divining rod. And where, pray tell, would I start to look? In my basement? I should say that's highly improbable. Maybe you can help me organize a few things. Maybe you can help me organize a few things. Again? You haven't even returned my lawnmower yet. Oh yes, the lawnmower. You'd better get a new one. <laughs> the old one had lousy aerodynamics. <sighs> what is it this time? Uh, oh, here you go. Do you have any idea where I can get roasted beans? Hey, do you have any idea where I can get roasted beans? The only beans I know make your mouth burn. Can you use those? I don't know. I just need to make some kind of medicine, so I don't have to be too peculiar about the ingredients, right? Whatever you say. Do you have an idea where I can get some blackish powder? Do you have any idea where I can get some blackish powder? Black powder? No idea. Aren't you the expert concerning all things explosive? After all, every other invention of yours blows up. Which at the same time means that every first one doesn't. That was a clue there. Explosives. Uh, do you have an idea where I can get clear water? Do you have any idea where I can get clear water? Clear water? Pfft, that stuff only exists in legends. So what? My whole project is legendary. <laughs> Legend has it that your father once found clear water. That's how he got to be mayor of Kuvak. They say that there are still a few bottles hidden away in the town hall. That's my old man, all right. He left Deponia, but instead of bequeathing me his fortune, he hit it. At least he left you the divining rod. Maybe it is possible to find some water with it. <laughs> Dream on. So do you hear that? What we have to do to get the clear water is get into my dad's old office. My dad was once the mayor of Kuvak, so I have to get into the mayor of Kuvak's office, which I'm not being allowed into because Wenzel here, the little weasel, is holding up the line to get in. So I'm going to have to get Wenzel to go to the mayor's office, take his turn, and then I'll be allowed in. The only thing is, Wenzel won't go because he doesn't have a reason. He hasn't struck anything like a water vein to be able to be a big enough person to get into, to get the girl to go home with him. So, <laughs> I'm in a bit of a rut here. So basically, I need to get Wenzel rich so that I can get some water.